Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I got a little lighter of a topic of a video. We're going to be talking about LabWC and how I feel about it. And I'm going to be going through, like, my rice and, like, different things I've done with it. And, uh, yeah, I've I've expanded beyond what I did with OpenBox. Uh, I feel like OpenBox was really, really, really good for X11. But then you have these people that do lab wc and it's like a, a better well i wouldn't i don't know that's it's kind of the same but because it's on wayland it's snappier you know what i mean if that makes any sense so okay my config right <sighs> okay so you have you have your window i get it full screen because it's out of laziness for me i full screen a lot of stuff so yeah now, I've come up with a whole movement scheme for this that's going to be really good. So control does the window snapping stuff, right? So if I need to move this over here and then I'm like, ooh, I want my, my thing, I can now have a tiled split sort of situation. I never, in my own personal use, I never go beyond this. If that makes any sense. Like, there's, I'm, I'm not, I don't do like... Uh, would it be like the the quarters or whatever i only do, so this works perfect right it's fine um and then the other thing is i spread out so using the alt tab like this works very good and i have that set to hit all the windows on all the workspaces right so it's not only within this uh, and that's also how i switch focus is with alt tab uh it just seems simpler it's like one little key press you know what i mean uh, I don't have any uh, window borders for that to like acknowledge it because I kind of if if you pick it from the menu it's gonna go there it's never gonna not be there <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> so yeah all tabbing all tabbing in LabWC is great same thing with uh, OpenBox I love that feature in OpenBox so yeah okay so onwards and upwards workspaces right. By default, they don't have any of those keybinds set up. You have to set them all up yourself, right? So I have it so I can do the numbers. And then I also have it so if I do hold down super and go left and right, I can go left and right, which honestly, that's the I, I don't really use more than maybe three or four workspaces. So doing the left and right is just my laziness because I don't feel like stretching my hand up to touch the number keys. It's so lazy. All right, so let, let, let's go look at the config. Uh, RC.xml. As you see, I have the open box one here. The config comes differently. This is a default config, and I just edited a bunch of stuff. I, uh, I, I deleted some of the comments that just felt redundant because it's like, what is it? Uh, it's, well, it was more than 700. It was like, like i don't know like maybe 800 lines or something it, it was real crazy so basically this file is a fucking mess dude um let me do i'm gonna do like one of these just because i feel like it looks cool get a little thing there is a way to use a keybind to center the window i just haven't set it up yet so if we go through here um i've edited almost every portion of this config that i can in the way that I want. Obviously, if it's a certain way, I'm going to leave it. But yeah. So I switched to center. Um, I did use this. Uh, what is it? Tweaks. This thing. Just to kind of set the, the open box theme thing. Just so I didn't have to type it. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then, um, let's see. Corner radius. We turn that right off. You know, we turn the border thing off. I put in my fonts and the font size that I wanted. And that's basically that right there. So window switcher. So the window switcher, if you turn this to no, it just sucks. Uh, Cause yeah, it's, that's what this thing is. Um, outlines, no, all workspaces, yes. Down here, uh, you know, it'll have like icons and stuff. I don't really care for that because I'm just I just need something quick to look at. It's not I'm not, visually it doesn't need to be appealing. So yeah, I did that. That's the workspace switcher. All right, let's come down. 
all this stuff I I left alone because I don't. This is just controlling the resizing. It's fine. Um, <clears throat> and then so workspaces I changed all these, and then the pop up time, which is kind of like uh when you go like this, see how that pops up for a second. Ooh, I accidentally uh did the cue. Um, that's a. Uh, Normally, it'll stay up for a little bit longer, but it, it was kind of annoying me. So I, I was like, nah, dude, I can't I can't do that. Right. So, yeah, workspaces. I basically uh, just named them one through that. And then in the keybinds, that helps me not type so much. And yeah, just having the single character as the thing. So we'll get into the keybinds and you, you'll understand what I mean by that when we get through. So alt tab. Next window, Alt Tab. You know, if I do Alt Shift Tab, it, it it'll do one of these. Oh, I uh, I'm stupid. I was just on the wrong desktop. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Alt Shift Tab, and then my normal keybinds. So like Window Button Space for Ghosty and all that. I uh, I do have the Alt W thing. I'm running S W W W uh for my wallpapers like I normally would on Wayland. This is the normal thing I do, a little Rofi thing. Um, font, it's easy. I have switched the way that I do uh, screenshots over Wayland. Um, so if I do Alt P, that's my normal thing. This is the the default kind of grim slurp thing, right? So I'd be like this, but then it pops it into Snappy, which uh, gives you a bunch of like, you know, like I could. You know draw on this you know we can uh put text on here uh you know let's go All right and then it gives me the options right here to copy it or save it very cool um I never used Hypershot, so I don't know if Hypershot's better than that or not, but I like the way that it pops open in that window, and I can have multiple screenshots in those windows and just copy from them, and then I, I, I just like the way that works, so I use that. We actually switched back over to Firefox. Like, imagine that. Your boy's using um, Firefox. What was the last video? Oh, I was watching something about some weirdo on TikTok. Sweet. Um... Firefox, I'm using, you know, the Tridactyl. It's it's cool. It's fine. I haven't raised Tridactyl. It's it's just the default one. Um, but I will get around to that. Yeah, we're using Nemo, and I'm using Nemo for a couple of different reasons. There's some cool plugins for Nemo that I want to explore. So yeah, I'm gonna be uh kind of playing around with that a little bit. Uh, yeah, and then my Rufi. <clears throat> I just switched it so it had the icons. It's still the same Rofi I always use. Um, oh, I did add a couple of little features. So I wanted to be like, have really instant access to a web search, like as instant as possible. So I set up this little Rofi menu so I could, I could be like, oh, I want to look up Lab WC, right? And then I'll pop Firefox open with exactly what I was looking for in the search. So I do that. And then... Um, I did the same thing with YouTube. So uh, let's say uh, I want to look myself up. Oop. And then it'll just pop this open. And, you know, this is not a complex thing to get set up. It's 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 very easy. Uh, I'll kind of show you what I have going on. Uh, what is it? YouTube. YouTube search dot sh. So. Basically, Rofi D menu, I'm picking this certain theme. So if you do this dash theme flag right here, it allows you to just have a whole nother config in the Rofi folder and then pick it. Or, you know, you could have that config wherever, but yeah. So Xargs, and then right here it creates like, okay, whatever I type is going to echo into this, these two brackets right here. Right. So then this is just YouTube search query, blah, blah, blah. And the way that I got that, if you ever want to find a search, a search query URL, uh, you can kind of just go to like here. Let me go to Amazon.com. Right. 
So this is a little trick. If if I go like this, one 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 one, you just want a bunch of characters that makes it apparent of what you where you searched was, and then right here you see. Oh. This is the search query thing right here. This is all tracking bullshit after here. You don't even need this. But yeah, you can basically just take this, and I'm pretty sure. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna copy this and we're gonna new tab. We're gonna do uh what's something cool? Uh I like hoodies. And then bang, hoodies, right? So you can just take you can just take that and then fit that into your little script if you wanted to do one for Amazon or you wanted to do one for you know whatever. So yeah, that's kind of like what I have there. Um, normal things, you know, ghosty, yazi, uh, you know, oh, I did set up a keybind. I don't know if I've talked about this. I play music on my computer in the most ghetto way possible as a Linux wizard. <laughs> uh, Super M just pops up in this terminal window with FCF and it's piping into MPG one, two, three, which I like. Um, like, let's say we bring this. Uh, so if I go H, you know, it gives you all these different things. You can speed it up, slow it down. Sometimes I'll, if I hear a record and I'll be like, oh, damn, like that would be so cool if it was like 40% slower. And be like, you know, whatever. I can just do that. So, yeah, that, that's kind of the main reason why I use that is just to slow down stuff while I'm listening to it. Uh yeah, what else did we get into? Uh, yeah, I set my volume controls. Uh, this keybind can get deleted, but I'll do that at another point. Brightness stuff can get deleted. I don't use it. Okay, now we get into like the workspaces. So if you if you wanted to set up your workspace commands like the way I have them, this is kind of how you do it. Or your wor workspace keybinds. So all of the keybinds as you would know from open box is the same kind of capital letter for whatever mod key and then what you want to do and then you got this name and then two left or two right right and then w the way that i labeled those workspaces earlier in the config allows me to have this single character right here it makes it a lot simpler right and then send to desktop same sort of thing but then you get uh follow Right, and then I don't know what the wrap does, but it's just I saw it in multiple people's configs, so I just put it in. There. But yeah, this follow right here that makes it so if I if I if I send this to two, it just stays on the window instead of um what you call it doing a different workspace with no window on it, right? So or. Yeah, it'll send it to the workspace, and you're still looking at the workspace. Well, this keeps it with the window. I, I don't know why. This is my, I'm brain dead. I don't know <laughs> why that was so hard to explain. <laughs> uh, mouse binds, I don't use the mouse really. So this is like, you know, unless I'm pointing to something on the screen or playing a video game or editing a photo, I don't really use the mouse. So this is all kind of pointless. Um... Let's see. This is all pointless stuff I can delete later. This is for tablets. Lib input. This is, um, it's just is kind of how certain stuff behaves. I haven't messed with this yet. I don't think I need to. I really don't. I think this is just for like someone who's being really, really nerdy. Window rules. I never use window rules. Um, that shit's weird. Uh, the menu. So we'll get into the menu a little bit. So I, I have edited my menu.xml. I've made it so like anything that I use a lot is right here. And not because I'm always a mouse user, but sometimes when I'm laying in bed, I got this wireless ProArc like trackball mouse and I'll just lay on my side like, you know what I mean? Like that. And then I put, I rest it on my hip. And then I can just sit there and, and use the mouse. So, like, I was thinking, like, this ends up over 
whenever on my uh what you call it my mac mini um <clears throat> i'll have that set up so i can just be lazy about certain things you know but yeah i got firefox nemo yazi you know i do my little music thing uh discord obs and then you know you got your like reconfigure command if i'm editing and i just want to be like oh bang reconfigure it'll reload the whole config and then exit reboot power off you know these are these are things that i i, I typically do sometimes so i have those in there yeah and then i'm trying to think i think that's basically it for for the main parts of the config now I went over that, I went over that, I went over that. Waybar, right? There's not a lot of options for Waybar here. Uh, I basically, I kind of just went really, really minimal. I don't need to see the sound, like how, what the volume is. Because it's like, I don't know, all N, all M, you know, up and down. You know, it's like r right there on the keyboard. So if, 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 I, if I switch over to something and the volume's too loud, like, it's so quick for me to just, I uh, like, it's just, I don't know. It, I don't need it. And I typically keep everything at the same volume, like, 99% of the time, unless I'm bumping music. So there's, like, no point. Hmm. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, that's pretty much it. The, yeah, I mean... My experiences with it, it's the same as open box. It's snappy, it's solid. Um, I'll, I'll probably say this setup that I have going on right here is probably one of my favorite of the past year. You know what I mean? Just using it. Um, it I'm not gonna say it's gonna beat out Mau Mau because Mau Mau just has the best. It's just the whole setup of everything is the best, but it's this is pretty fire and it's pretty damn lightweight and it just functions good there's no animations all square corners like all my favorite kind of typical settings that i have all in here the, my only my only complaint my only complaint is this xml shit you know what i mean like same thing with it's so fucking busy and it's not that i can't work my brain around it and i can't get through it it just looks ugly dude and I'm not saying stuff like Tommel or JSON or better, but it's like I have a lot easier time looking at those because I look at them so much more often that when I see this XML file, it throws me for a loop. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But anyways, I appreciate you guys uh, checking out the video. If you have any questions about things I've done in here, I can answer them in the comments. Uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to do tweaks, but... Oh, wait, I actually talked about tweaks. Never mind. We're good. We're good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Peace out.